Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading. For the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 1st to the 7th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Capricorn please. 1st to the 7th of February 2021. Thank you. And it will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So a message for Capricorn, thank you. So one's turned, two have turned over. Two of coins and the three of swords. So what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, thank you. We have, oh nice, valiant courage, take action with passion. Um, example of the knight on the horse is very beautiful. Strength, power, courage, resilience, resoluteness, you know, that kind of energy. Okay. What do we have for our lovely Capricorns, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn, thank you. For the week. Message that Capricorn needs to hear. I love the energy here, Capricorn. We have the situation will improve and we have a card of success. You can see an angel that looks like she's jumping for joy and we have the situation will improve. Somebody who is in the depths but they can see the light. They're heading in the right direction towards the light, towards the surface. Very, very beautiful energies there, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is, let me just move these over slightly. First card is issue or challenge for the week. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the future outcome, should you take the advice. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So a message for Capricorn, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Capricorn. First to the seventh. So I've got two cards. The Hierophant and we have the Page of Pentacles. Is your challenge. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I mean, it doesn't surprise me when the Three of Swords has appeared. Um is the advice from spirit and we have the nine of cups <laughs> in your outcome wow okay so can we clarify the cards on the table for capricorn please message for capricorn wow this is seriously turning something around here capricorn so let's clarify the cards on the table, please. First to the 7th of February 2021 for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, thank you. Eight of Cups. The Sun, absolutely beautiful with the Ten of Swords. Uh, we have the Nine of Cups. Star. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we have the King of Rods or the King of Wands. Okay, Capricorn, so let's start with these cards. So, Two of Coins and the Three of Swords. So there is a message that something has caused you emotional pain. I mean, there's levels to the Three of Swords. It can be about her, a truth coming to light, being cut deep by someone or something or a situation can sometimes be about a third party situation if it's in terms of love, romance, relationships. Um, but the two of coins is Jupiter and Capricorn. 
this is your energy so it definitely feels like even though you feel overwhelmed in a situation it's well within your capability to bring to adapt and deal with the, what this situation has presented to you the message is prioritize focus you have the ability to bring balance back to your life now can sometimes be about making life choices decisions but it don't do what you need to adapt again in response to this now and it's earth energy so the practical things the focus the patience you know um the determination you know the growth you know that kind of energy and again the message of valiant courage stay strong you know take action with passion now it feels a little bit overwhelming sorry capricorn the phone's going one moment Hi Capricorn, sorry about that. Um, so we have take action with passion and courage. You know, this is about valiant courage, bravery, you know, being in your power. Because for some of you, the situation will improve and it leads to success, joyous energy, some real success in your life. And I can see that in the cards here. You know, these cards are associated with success. So very, very, very beautiful energy. The situation will improve. It may feel, you know, you're, you're up against something that is a bit overwhelming at the moment. But there is a message of if you prioritize focus, do what you naturally do best. You understand how to bring growth and expansion and turn something around in a big way in your life. So very, very beautiful indeed. It might well be for some of you that this Three of Swords has meant you've walked away. Now, the Eight of Cups can be about walking away, saying goodbye to something. Can also be a card of disappointment, moving on from disappointment and the challenge of doing that. Because, you know, it feels for some of you, there has been a searching for meaning. You know, the Hierophant is all about searching for meaning. It comes up sometimes when we're tested, you know, when our faith is questioned. Um, you know, uh, what's it all about? You know, how do I move forward? You know, which direction do I go? You know, it's, it's, it's the questions that we ask when we search for meaning, sometimes when we're a bit lost, I have to say. And the Page of Pentacles is the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change. Can be new paths, new beginnings. So the pages can be financial career opportunities. They can also be a path of manifesting something new and it's earth energy. So this is about focusing on manifesting a new path, new opportunity, new way forward in your life now. You have all the abilities, uh, everything that you need to, to manifest something new. Sometimes this is linked with skills develop, development as well, the Capricorn. So you might have walked away from something. It could have been that whatever this Three of Swords was, the adaption is walking away from something, but being in the in-between stage where you're not quite walking towards something new yet and for some of you there's a message of have faith you know you'll find those answers just have faith you'll be in spiritual guided spiritual wisdom um towards a new path for yourself new opportunity so very very nice energy indeed because the ten of swords is the darkness but it's the darkness before the light so it's always darkest before the dawn, isn't it? And that's what this card is representing. Somebody who has been deeply wounded, deeply hurt, can sometimes be about betrayed, stabbed in the back, unexpected betrayal, you know? Um, there's levels to this card, but it's a 10. You can see the sun rising in the distance and it's pushing away the darkness. So there is an energy of, of new light, seeing the light. The situation will improve moving towards the surface of a situation, releasing the emotional pain, the hurt of what you've been through. And the sun is a wonderful energy of being fully risen. It's interesting. The sun is beginning to rise and then we have it fully risen here. So this is about fully stepping into your power, fully stepping into your light, overcoming any obstacle, barrier, limitation, that may have stood in your way from bringing growth, success, um, abundance. This is a card of good news, celebration, joy, happiness your way. 
and um, absolutely beautiful very good in terms of money and career as well if it's to do with money and career or just manifesting a new path for yourself it feels like this this wall the obstacle of what this represented for you you're finally coming through the other side of this situation and it feels good this is a feel good energy feeling really good so that's what the message is from the spirit you know it feels quite dark but you will absolutely see the light you will step into the light there is happiness joy abundance success here very very beautiful energy indeed because for some of you it feels this success is 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 linked with some achievement and it feels like a goal achievement here because the nine of cups is reasons to be thankful it's a card of wishes coming true absolutely the star card is a card of divine wish fulfillment so there is absolutely a message of when we see this hierophant have faith in your challenge you are being watched over guided by spirit god the universe and you're being guided towards and it feels like for some of you the right path for you absolute message of whatever you're manifesting here with this page of pentacles you will absolutely be on the right path it leads to renewal new hope new faith renews your faith as well uh, reasons to be optimistic but it's also a blessing a divine wish fulfillment card as well and the nine of cups is the wish for coming true it is a card of a personal achievement a sense of accomplishment contentment satisfaction you know the, there's no there's no coincidence that these are lined up on a silk tro on a silk shelf like trophies because it feels like there's some kind of personal achievement goal achievement here these are cards of success so and aligning to the right path that you're meant to be on now and this king of wands is is if it's you this is you back on your throne back in your power this is somebody who takes action and by taking action and going and having the drive and the action and the inspiration and the vision and the determination and the perseverance and the energy they understand how to bring growth and success into their lives so this could be you capricorn back in your power back on your throne i definitely felt the energy of turning uh, a really big turnaround for you but i also feel that there could be somebody of influence in your life remember the king of wands can be somebody offering you something so again have faith in terms of some kind of opportunity new opportunity coming your way or it can be about what you've been manifesting there is definitely new growth um, new opportunity um, a new you know definitely some kind of energy or offer opportunity with a person it feels like a person of influence is involved in terms of your hopes dreams and wishes coming true now it could be in any area of your life the cards aren't being specific here capricorn it, it feels for some of you i mean this could be as much to do with your money career it could be to do with relationships you know it could be to do with um you know you just being back in your power and feeling pretty good about it you know and it just feels very very beautiful so let's let's pull a card for this king of wands or king of rods yeah the nine sorry the six i'm looking at the bottom of the deck actually the uh the six of swords is detaching from troubles and moving towards karma waters life transitions so you're heading towards this king of of wands it's either a person or you being in your power uh, definitely some kind of achievement goal achievement and the nine of pentacles is a card of abundance it's a card of material success very good in terms of money career um, if you're on your own you could be moving towards somebody as well here Capricorn but it definitely feels for some of you 
that this is knowing your self-worth, having your self-esteem, standing in your own accomplishments, uh, your hard work paying off, your manifestation paying off. And it's another nine, which again is symbolizing some kind of personal achievement here. Um, in the nine of pentacles, you feel pretty good about what you've accomplished. Um, so there's definitely this energy of there's been hurt, you have adapted, you have had a lot to deal with, um, a lot of juggling, but there has been an opportunity to, I think you, this, the challenge could have been you walked away from something or someone and wanted to manifest a new path. But again, maybe you were questioning in terms of how you move forward, how you manifest. Now, in terms of money career, that could have been to do with skills development, that could have been to do with financial career opportunities. Um, can also be just how you manifest a new path for you. You know, healing, moving forward, standing in your own power, being on your own, you know, it can be that kind of energy. There's a recognition of hurt here, but it's over. You know, with this sun coming out, this is a card of restoration standing in your light once more so a big turnaround and then we have a card of alignment personal achievement being on the right path leading to reasons to be thankful material success accomplishment can be self-esteem self-worth and again being in that life transition i mean this can be about moving relocating life transitions also change positive change towards what this king of what runs it rods is so it can be in terms of you in your power bringing growth back on your throne so to speak a male or female energy can also be somebody of influence in your life who is helping you put the past behind you maybe offering you something in terms of opportunity so it feels very very beautiful it feels this is a wish coming true you know both of these cards side by side one reinforces the other. The God, God, the universe, the divine is saying a wish can come true here. A hope dream can be made real. So, and there is definitely for some of you success available. So very, very nice energy indeed, Capricorn. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Capricorn, please. Final message for Capricorn. Yeah, we have believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around in nature. The fairy of the Northern Lights says you are part of nature, so you are magical too. It's believe in your own magic because we all have the magic to transform and change our situation. It's not always easy. Transformation is tough. But nevertheless, when you accomplish it, when you come through the other side, you recognize, you know, your own magic. And that is what the message is. You have all the resources, the talent, the experience, the know-how, the mental acuity to really bring a hope and dream to reality. And I feel that there is definitely some kind of awakening of you as well. Uh, you know, the sun can be an awakening card too. I, stepping into your truth with the, the star energy, it feels absolutely beautiful. That's why I'm saying this king of wands can be you and your energy and your power again. Or can be somebody who is of influence in helping you turn your life around. Beautiful, beautiful reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.